I just spent my first day shopping in Morocco and I wanted to show you what I got because while I'm here I'm trying to find cosmetics and cuisine that I can share with you. So if you'll notice in the shorts that's where you're going to get like the blow by blow um, fun things that I do in a quick little format. But if you want to see something like what I bought today and what I'm bringing home and what we're going to show you um, from around the world when we go to develop our own products here on the Joan Spice channel, this is where you'll see it. Morocco inspired uh, cosmetics and things that I got today. So I visited a little uh, market here in Casablanca and on my shorts you're going to see me promote them quite a bit because they were probably one of the most hospitable um, places I've ever been in my life. Uh, the young woman who helped me hopefully will become good friends um, added her to my uh, my, uh, my feed so I'm hoping to be able to keep in touch with her. Uh, she has some fun things to say on the shorts so check her out in the shorts. But the name of the market is La Papuis Market. And as you can see here in Africa in, in Morocco, everything's in um, French and Arabic. So I'm le learning French and Arabic words. So salut and salam. <laughs> so what I got here first is I thought, I was brushing my teeth this morning and I'm like, hmm, I have my toothbrush. I just bought a little travel one. I wonder what toothpaste is like in Morocco. So today we're gonna cover the toothpaste that I purchased at the La Patrice, La Patrice Market, and uh, the first one, I've never seen aloe vera used in a toothbrush, toothpaste. So this is what we're going to be looking at first, and we'll do a little review of the products because why not, right? I'm just going to be taking these home and using them, but that might give some ideas for when you're producing your own products what's possible. Because I think a lot of the times when we only draw from our own culture, we forget that there's a whole wide world out there and more creative people who are doing wonderful things. So we have some big companies that seem to produce most of everything in North America. Whereas if you go to other places or if you visit artisan creators and you buy your cosmetics and makeup from them, a whole new world of joy is found in the cosmetic field. So everything is in Arabic again and French. So just like Canada, they have two national languages and that's what you'll find in all the packaging. So I'm gonna to try to make it home with things intact. So I have them for my, uh, my own research. So here is their toothpaste on the inside. Looks, it's, uh, it's a plastic tube so it's not probably going to roll like some of our metal tubes um, or plastic that's softer it's a harder plastic it's like something I would use for a sunscreen or a lotion so that's a difference right there all right so let's see this one is the aloe vera one so it is sealed but I'm gonna go ahead and open it because I want to taste it because what good is a toothpaste if it doesn't taste right or taste good? I'm guessing if this is mint in aloe vera, mint is a very important herb here. In fact, one of their national teas, Moroccan mint tea, is served traditionally all over the country. And I had the most amazing meal. And again, you can see that in the shorts because I film on location, little short blips of the places that I visit. Now, yes, it is a mint, but there's something more, maybe in the rolling. One thing that I learned today about mint tea drinking in Morocco is that you can add different herbs and spices and floral waters to the tea, and it's absolutely incredible. C'est bon, c'est bon bon. <laughs> so, let's see, oh, it's a gel. So that's, you see it's a gel toothpaste. Mm. This toothpaste kind of has the same kind of mint flavor that you'll find in Moroccan tea. So that is very exciting. I'm going to use that and enjoy that entire tube of toothpaste over the next year or so. I am so excited to be able to try it. Thank you. 
Organic Aloe Vera, Dr. Organic. Um, I don't know if that is a Moroccan company or not, but it's definitely tailored to Moroccan. It may just be a European thing. It may not be a Moroccan thing, but I thought that was really cool. So I got it. I have to do a little more research on it before I can say it's authentically Moroccan, but definitely something you would find in a Moroccan market because that's where I got it. <laughs>